we've got the Sunwear solar panel uh, installed on the roof there and um, the installation from the roof what you'll see is this cable there coming down on the top right of the, of the roof and that cable is going from the panel into the car okay so if i get into the car what you'll see is that it's coming through here and going around into the cell protection so what this protection does it's if the solar panel gets too warm then this little uh, box here will decide to stop the solar panel functioning so it doesn't overheat so it's sort of a uh, an overheat protector now the cable runs along the window here window seal and it goes back out into the ceiling of the car around up 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 and down and what i'll show you here is that it comes down here so i still have to uh, uh, velcro this to the side of the car the idea would be to uh, make it as clean as possible and it goes down the gutter here down under the seat where the battery is and directly here from our fox charger we have the cables coming out so we've got this one which is on completely on the left which is coming from the solar panel on the ceiling this one is battery one which is the living area meaning all of my fridges uh, my chargers my lights and whatnot and this one is battery two which is the car battery and i'm going to now show you so these cables come from back there and they reach here and so all these cables then go to my two batteries in the car and that's how they're set up hey so we got the rx model from uh, sunware and we got this solar panel that comes in a awesome little bag and for example if we were to stay here tonight what we would do is pull out the rx model And what we do, is, for example, the sun is right here. So what I'm going to be doing is putting the solar panel as perpendicular possible to the sun, so that it really works at 100%. So the best would really be to be facing the sun as much as possible. And I think here we go. And then I've got this cable. I need a long cable. I'll come into the car. And what we've received here is an alternator that goes from the charge of the solar panel into the car battery directly. Just like that. Here what you can see is that depending on the different battery type that you have inside your car, so if it's gel, flooded, AGM or life, then you set up in here, you've got this little opening here. Oops. And um, in here you sort of pick what are the code what are the codes to your battery? So I have an AGM battery, so it's down, up, down, up. So what I've done is down, up, down, up. And then you close that up. And I know that I don't have to touch this anymore until I change the battery. Now I've got a plug, a uh, cigar or cigarette sort of plug. And what I've done is I've installed here a little cigarette plug for quick access. And so what I do is, there we go. So now we see a LED, you see it flashing. It's a green flash. So green flash, if we look here, it says 100%. So that means my battery is 100%. That's good. But if I was to use it with the fridge, the chargers and everything, I would be less. But right now I'm at 100%. So it's working and here you go. It's also very light. I mean, I can just like hold it with one hand and it's not that heavy. And what you'll also notice it's how thin it is, you know? So this fits in your car or anywhere. It just slides anywhere. And uh, so we've got a 100 watts here solar panel. Foldable, super thin. Opens and extends. The back here is built with a board. So it's actually pretty, it's flexible, but sturdy as well. And what they say is that you can bend this a bit.
So we've just received our two solar panels from the company Sunware, based out in Germany. Um, they've just sent us two solar panels for the car. So on the left one here, we have the fixed 100 watt solar panel that will go on the roof of the car. It's a series 20 from Sunware. And we've received on the right here, the 100 watt RX model, which is a plug and play. So it's foldable. It will not be fixed. It will be set out into the sun when we stop. And we received here the charger regulator, which will be in the car. So um, let's see in the next video how we set this up. Looking here at the two packages we received from Sunware, uh, you can see that here, that Series 20 model, which is the one that's fixed on the roof, came in a very thin and small packaging, which is pretty handy. And then we received this one, which is the RX model, which is the plug and play that is uh, stored away in the car and then set up in the sun when parked also comes in a pretty small uh, packaging so this is what the packaging looks like the items came in very good condition and here are the panels removed from the packaging on the right the rx model on the left the series 20 model and this is our mechanics garage where we'll be doing all the installations here we've got the series 20 panel out and what we're going to be doing is drilling holes into it so that we can attach it to the aluminium plate which will then be attached to the roof of our car. And to point out, there are specific locations where we can drill holes on this panel. The second step would be to start drilling through the aluminum plate and through the roof. I've used rivets to tie down the metal platform to the roof. Here what you see is I'm adding silicon to the rivet to make sure that it's sealed tight in case of rain. And as you see here, as I push down the rivet, it squishes out the silicon, making sure that it's waterproof. Once you've got all your rivets in, holding the aluminum plate down to the roof, what I've done next is tie down the solar panel to the aluminum. So here what I did is I screwed them down with normal screws and I made sure to add a little bit of glue on the screws to make sure that they wouldn't pop off as I drive off. And voila, job done. The solar panel is installed on the roof. Third step here is to connect the cable from the solar panel into your battery. And so we're going to make ours go through the pop-up proof. What you're seeing here, we're screwing down tight, is a cell regulator. This is a regulator that in case the panels heat up, then it will turn off the power supply from the solar panel to make sure that they don't break or overheat. The charge regulator is what comes between the solar panel and the car battery. It is used to monitor the stats between the two. The next thing we're doing here is connecting the cable coming from the solar panel into the charge regulator. It is very well indicated where the cables go in the charge regulator. And what we're now doing is plugging in the battery to the charge regulator. By the way, don't mind the green cable you see there. As per the battery, it's always plus and minus. The green cable there was an extra cable that we had found, so the green cable was then cut. Please do not use three cables, only plus and minus. So this is where I've installed my charge regulator behind the driver's seat. So if we look here, it's quite easy access, and I can see all the information quite rapidly. But what I want to show you here is that we have the three cables plugged in, one from the solar, two from the battery. And here what we see is all the cables run along this gutter and go down into where the two batteries are and where they're plugged in. So it's under the driver's seat. Now to show you really quickly the settings, here we can see battery 1 and battery 2, the voltage. So I've got 12 volts, so they're perfect. And what we can see here is how much they're charging. So right now it's at 0.2 amps of charge because my batteries are full. If they were emptier, then we would see a higher rate. Here we see the level of charge of battery 1 and battery 2. Next here we've got mode output. 
I don't have any cables coming out of my Fox charger as output. Everything is connected directly to the battery, so this isn't functional for me. But if you were to have something plugged into the output of the Fox charger, then you could decide when to have it on. If you put it on lamp, then on at night. If it's on, then it's always on, and off is off. And auto decides depending on the charge of the batteries. Next, you've got the capacity usage. I've got it set at 70%. The next is the battery type depending on the battery types that you have in your car. Mine are both AGM. Then you have the charge ratio. So this is pretty interesting. I have mine set as battery 1 80% and battery 2 20%, meaning that I can decide what is the ratio of the charge from the solar panel on battery 1 and battery 2, meaning that here 80% of the charge from the solar panel will be set to battery 1. And finally, we've got the contrast setting for the display. Now regarding the RX model, the plug and play version of the solar panel, the one that I folded in the car, all I needed is a cigarette plug so that I could have a quick access when I needed to plug in the solar panel. I will show you what this looks like right now. For my RX series, I have a cigarette port here directly connected to battery for charging. <laughs> 